Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to cover Slayer today. I've talked about Metallica and Megadeth, who are two of what's called the Big Four, American thrash bands. Slayer is also a part of that. They're number three, and we'll get to number four another time. Uh, metal happened in, in Europe, primarily in England. And when it made its way to the United States, it was by way of the thrash metal movement that was here in the United States. Of course, which Metallica was largely responsible for. Um, I would say Dave Mustaine in Metallica was responsible for. Once he was kicked out of that band, he formed Megadeth, which is maybe arguably the second biggest thrash band. Uh, and then close behind, you'd find Slayer. I knew that Metallica and Megadeth, they were... They were they were accessible when I was younger. Um, they even had radio songs. You know, you'd hear Metallica on the radio. You'd hear Megadeth on the radio. You'd never hear Slayer on the radio. Slayer's music is not for the radio. So I wasn't very familiar with them when I was younger. And I think when I first heard about them, I wasn't interested. It seemed like it was scary and I didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> but the very first Slayer song I ever heard was one called Seasons in the Abyss which is the song I'm going to play today. And I, I saw it on, a, uh, on an episode of Headbangers Ball, which is an MTV show. We didn't have MTV when I was a kid, so I saw it at a friend's house. It might have been Matt Brown's house. I can't quite remember. That was the first time I ever heard Slayer. And I thought, well, that's intense. And the song isn't even that fast or heavy, but it's, it's awesome. Some really cool riffs in that song. My real exposure to Slayer happened in high school. Um, I can't remember what year it was, if it was, it might have been 11th grade, but I, I'd grown up, I had a friend in junior high, his name was Chris Hadlock, and uh, when we got to high school, he unfortunately didn't go to Cyprus with us, he went to Olympus, and we'd see him every once in a while, it wasn't as regularly as I w would have liked, but one time, he came to, to hang out, uh, out where, where we lived, he had his buddy's CD case in his car, and at that time, we were we were pretty big on burning CDs and sharing music. And among other awesome albums that his buddy had, he had the three essential Slayer albums, which are Rain, uh, Rain and Blood, South of Heaven, and Seasons in the Abyss. And so I burned those. And uh, yeah, man, I went headfirst into Slayer and became a pretty, pretty big fan of their music. Uh, I talked a couple weeks ago about gateway bands. You know, I've talked about how you can find something that opens up the doors to other things. I think Slayer is that for most people. I think that Slayer are like the gatekeepers of extreme music. You know, Metallica is pretty approachable. By the time you get to Slayer, if you can handle that, you're ready for the next step, right? You're ready for the promotion into death metal and black metal and all that stuff. So, yeah, Slayer's fantastic. I've had a chance to see them a whole bunch of times. I remember the very first time I saw them was in 2003, and they played in uh, December or November of 2003, and they played at the Saltaire, which is, in my opinion, the best venue in Salt Lake City. Um, the way that building sounds is unreal. And the show didn't start on, on time. I think it was Brett, me and Brett and my friend Ryan Williams. We were standing in line probably for... 45 minutes, an hour, maybe longer, just freezing to death, waiting for that venue to open up so we could go inside. And, uh, man, I'd, I had, I'd seen Megadeth in, at, the, at the Saltaire, but I'd never heard a band like Slayer live. It was unreal. Um, the way the, the guitars would crunch and shake that building is like something I've only experienced a handful of times ever. Uh, just the wood, I don't know what it is in that building, but the acoustics just really, really work well <laughs> with heavy metal. Um, the pit was monstrous, dangerous. It was very, very cool to see. They played a solid set. I don't remember every song that they played, but all the ones that I wanted to hear, they pretty much played them. And it was it was an amazing concert. Uh, another time I saw Slayer, uh, this was, was really cool. They played a secret show. There, there was a time when MySpace used to advertise like this hidden secret show that they would do. And it would be put on and promoted by MySpace without being properly advertised. And um, that was called the Unholy Alliance Tour. And uh, I don't remember all the bands that were on there. Oh, I can't remember the opening band. But um, Children of Bodom played. And Slayer headlined, and that was at uh, Club Bricks or in the venue. 
And that was a fun show for me because I had just turned 21 and I had access to the balcony. And so I was dead center on the balcony looking straight down at the stage, you know, for the whole show. Best seat in the house, I think. Um, I could sit through the whole thing and, and have this beautiful bird's eye view. And that was a really special show, too. So I've seen them a bunch of times. They recently just retired, which is sad. Um, their original rhythm guitar player, shared lead guitar player, Jeff Hanneman, he died um, from cirrhosis, I think, uh, probably about seven, eight years ago. The original drummer is no longer in the band. And so, I, you know, I hadn't seen them the last few times they came through. I wasn't as interested because it's, you know, not the Slayer that I loved. But uh, amazing live band. One of the best live bands I've ever seen. Intense, heavy. So the song I'm going to play is Seasons in the Abyss. The way it starts, it starts with some kind of slow, crunchy stuff. And it winds into the riffs that I'll play. But I'm kind of cutting out probably two minutes of, minute and a half, two minutes of guitar stuff before the, the, uh, the good riffs happen. So... This is Season in the Abyss. I'll have a copy of it down below. Go listen to it. See you.